Will that be enough? Probably not. Probably will be. In which case, we will just stick the rest of the uh, wood in there to constantly make some more charcoal for us. Yep, there it goes down. Nice. Let's get uh, that in there. Let's just stick all four of them in there. Feathers have some interesting things going on in the... Uh, Thumacraft? Or Thumacraft? Nice. They have flight and leap, air, wind, and breath. Oh, nice. That's quite a few things. Body, flesh, and physique. Mm -mm -mm. Wait, I've already ruled that one out, but do you get that from food and such? There we go. Well, here we go. We have an alloy furnace. We were, if I recall... Uh, let's go back to the kinetic. We were working on our engine. We needed a blue alloy ingot. So that's four nickelite and a silver ingot. Uh, here's nickelite. One, two, three, four. And there's a silver ingot. And now I know I'm actually going to need two of these, so I'm going to cook off two. At least I believe I need two of these. One for this sucker and one for that sucker. So, we got that, we got that. We just happen to be making charcoal that can be burned into... Oops! Oops! <laughs> uh, yeah, that stole our charcoal from us. There we go. See how many uh, pieces of charcoal we'll need. Oh, looks like one piece of charcoal is going to be more than enough. Let's take a look at the recipes. So we can make ash. Huh, we can make steak. Ingots. Why is it cycling through? Oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh, these are backwards. These are so ass backwards. It's not even funny. <laughs> oh, the, uh, the recipes for red power are interpreted inversely... to uh, what it should be is it's keeping it's showing me a different recipe for each of the fuels and what it can melt <laughs> so the fuels in the bottom and the top part has like you know steak and then it cycles over to uh, an ingot and it cycles over to a crystal and, ah. <laughs> so they act as an alloy or they act as an actual furnace which means I might actually have a secondary use for uh, the red power stuff is I could, uh, well, induction furnace eventually is probably going to blow that one away. We'll see how that goes, though. Well, yeah, I mean, our idea of useful and, and somebody else's opinion of what they say Red Power does overall might be different. You know, I find a lot of useful stuff in the mod other than, you know, if it doesn't have a whole bunch of top-tier machines, then it might not be useful to somebody else. Well, it's a really good replacement for Red Power. So anything we're doing with Red Power, it's going to be, a Red Stone, I mean, it, it's going to be really good. But it's not... It's not yet a replacement for, like, IC2, forestry, buildcraft, things like that. Well, and it actually looks like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it actually looks like it's uh, gearing up to interface pretty well with buildcraft, you know. So that, that's pretty interesting right there. Um, uh, the factorization stuff as well is where you can get the 300% output from your ores and things like that. So that's also something to look into. But I was looking at uh, Direwolf earlier, and there's a lot of steps for that. A lot of steps for that. All right, so let's get this again. We need six iron and our two co coils. Let me dump off this clay here. We'll also get rid of the wool and the sand that I've been picking up. Uh, we'll even stick the worm mother back in the chest for a bit. Iron, steel, uh, iron, there we go. There's my coils. Is there anything else in here that I might be needing in a moment? Well, if there is, I'll know where it is. Okay. So back to the crafting table. Let's get this recipe out. So yay, our first blue electricity engine, or uh, <laughs> motor. Uh, they're not called engines. That's what it was. I finally got more gold to feed the research table, and then my third attribute was that attribute: expensive, precious, and valuable. So stick like copper or iron in there. See if it. I mean, maybe it doesn't have to be oh, gold, man. Uh, silver or tin, maybe? It has to be a precious metal. Tin and silver aren't precious. I see silver as, uh... 
What's the precious icon? The chalice? Oh, see, my problem with a lot of that stuff is... Well, no, what's, what's the precious icon look like, man? It's a chalice. So, gold dust has it. Yep, silver does not. Uh, the gems do. Green sapphire? Yeah, I'm not using those. I'd rather use gold dust. Green sapphire? Really? The only thing that's good for is tools. I'd say that's right up there for uh, research. Yeah, but a gold, a gold pickaxe versus a green sapphire pickaxe, that's a big difference. Or are you talking about the vanilla green? No, I'm talking about the... Uh, well, the vanilla ones also have it. They also have a couple of other things. Uh, looks like transference. They have arrows facing both ways. Um, they also have a wand and some crystals. Oh, diamonds have their own. Yeah, I just find gold is less expensive than the gems because I don't make tools out of gold. Neither do I, but gold is wiring, isn't it? Some of the best wiring you can get right now. And well, after right. I learn this, I'll be able to transmute iron to gold. There we go. Nice. I just got to figure out what gives the... Uh, keep an eye out for the green arrows. It's uh, called... Well, you're not going to see the name, but it's a green box with an arrow pointing to the bottom right and the top left. Yeah, that's what I just said. Uh, well, bronze ingots have that, but what was I looking at? Uh, vanilla emeralds have those arrows with a four in the corner. Um, no, bronze has it with no number. Four in the corner. In the bottom right-hand corner, they have the numbers. Silver has that as well. Silver dust. Silver ingot, silver dust. Silver ore, but it's not numbered. Oh, okay, I see it now. I thought that I didn't have any more items with that. What do I have oh, rubber wow, wood in here for? The book for Miscraft has some amazing stuff on it, and all it cost was a book and a feather. Uh, Wait a minute, no, book and a feather is book. the age books. We haven't done yeah, those yet. Sorry. Or actually, I should have an H book around here somewhere. Yeah, it's just the same stats as a regular book. I just freaked out. Yeah, so pulverized silver it is. <laughs> there we go. Now I can uh, do basic transmutations. So brass is going to be something I look up. Because I want to use this version of the brass. Cause I think I can make this from Sphalerite. Brass blend? No, brass dust. So there we go. I can transform basic metals like iron into gold nuggets. The transformation is not without cost and loss, however, but... Oh, that's a one eighth lo one to eight gold. loss? That's a... Dude, that's a serious amount of loss. Yeah, well, gold spawns about one eighth the time of iron, so... If which I do because I just used it all in those freaking recipes. Uh, I have 22 ore, 3 dust, and 49 uh, ink nuggets from killing those stupid little uh, blue guys. Uh, what are they called? Not the kobolds. Or no, those are the kobolds. The other ones are the goblin miners or whatever. Anywho, uh, I'm looking for copper. So I need uh, one of these. And I also need zinc. You don't by chance have any zinc, do you? I think I used all of mine in the... Uh... Oh, it's a skeleton burning. Um, I just found some in the... Uh, the nether. When you're mining up um, pyrite and stuff, or not pyrite, sphalerite. I think you can find zinc dust. Yep, yeah. sphalerite ore, if I pulverize it, is a 5% chance. Sphalerite dust just automatically separates in the industrial electrolyzer. I need to get me one of them. Tin ore can give you sphalerite in the industrial grinder. Along with two tin dust, that's actually a much better thing than the emaciator. So an industrial grinder is also on my list. <laughs> Sodium per sulfate cell. Oh, or that works on the tin ores. Sphalerite ores. Ooh, I kind of like that. 
spout right door with a bucket of water. Gives me five of the dust, and I'm pretty sure the dust can get me uh, other stuff. Yeah, some more zinc, some more sulfur. Anyways, um, so I need to figure out ways to get this, and I think that's a trip to the nether to do some mining. So we are definitely not taking a lot of this stuff with us. I'm not ri going to do that riskfully. Um, going to stock this up with charcoal so it'll cook well. Are you going to be uh, crafting for a bit more, man? Uh, I figure if you're in the area, I'm going to let my stuff run. Yeah, I'm going to be in my house for a while here. Okay. I'm going to head off to the nether and find some spowrite. Uh, glowstone okay. dust. There we go. Uh, nether is... Oh, nether is in this book. That's the darker orange tinted stuff there. They look very similar. Yeah, the the spalrite and the pyrite. Yeah, the pyrite's like a brighter gold look. The spalrite's more like a copper, darker. Screw you, Gast. I am so not dealing with you today. So not dealing with you today. We had so much trouble with those damn things yesterday. So I believe this is uh, spalrite. Yep. Come on, give me zinc. As much trouble as we had, I don't think we died from them, did we? No, nah, but dude, we were swearing and cursing. I even uh, I logged into the IRC channel yesterday, and people were like, "Oh, I heard another adventure with much profanity happened." I'm like, "Yeah, it did." <laughs> oh yeah, two seconds after you hit the record button, you're like, "Hello, oh shit." <laughs> it started right off with it. It started right off. Man, all I'm getting is pyrite. Don't screw with me today, Gast. I got a freaking bow. You're mining the wrong color if you get pyrite. Well, I got 16 spalrite and 44 pyrite. But so far... Oh! Sorry there, Salamander. The hell? Get out of the fire, Salamander. Get out of the fire. I love it how the salamanders, I mean, I, I don't know if they're doing it on purpose, I don't know if they're programmed this way, but it'd be awesome if they were. But when you hit them, they uh, seem to run towards lava or fire to get away from you. <laughs> Hide in the fire. You know, this actually... More pyrite. I think that's all pyrite, too. Yeah, I'm having a real hard time... Discerning pyrite and spalrite, apparently. They look so similar, I just figured... I think the spalrite one was the one that didn't look like it took up as much of the block. It seemed a bit more subdued. Subdued. Dude. Mm -mm -mm. Hello, Sally Mender. Say hello to my nano blade. So I don't have any portals out here yet. Oh. Screw you, Gast. Wow, one piece of cooked fish got two of my three things up to 100% completion. Never ate it. I hit the research button on it like 20 times. Nice. Ah, oh, the freaking... Believe it or not, I'm shooting a ghast with arrows, right? And it's, uh... It's fireballs are deflecting my arrows. Nice. Yeah, they collide with each other. It's like, no, that would have been another direct hit, but that stupid can, freaking thing. You can return to sender with the arrows, I think. Yeah, but I just, I was not having that much luck. 